So here's the next project. Got a razor E90, which is here, and I've also got cheapy 24 volt Chinese e scooter twist throttle. Small ESC. So this is it says 24 volts DC. This one here says I believe it's identical motor. Um, slightly different part number. So this is a 12 volt. It's a electronic bicycle speed controller. So, what we're going to do is see if we can get this one working, get some lipos in it, run this with some over voltage. I know this works, this is super basic, just 12 volt. Um, this does need the a little bit of a repair up here. As you can see, like the wires here, is, you can see that that's come off. So, I'm going to repair that. I quite like this system, so we might take 12 volt out of this, put it into this. Um, I mean the 24 volt out of that and put it into this. Or we might see if we can get this working, because so far I haven't been able to get this working. But we're going to play about with them and see what we can do. Okay, so we're a little bit further into this. Took the speed controller apart. Yeah, it's got water in it and it's got a bit wet boom so here's a speed controller well we wouldn't really call it a speed controller um, basically it's a relay as far as I can tell so you've got this relay here 12 volt 40 amp relay and all that's doing is switching 12 volts from the battery to 12 volts from the motor Somehow though, this senses when the scooter's moving along at three miles an hour. So I'm guessing that at three miles an hour, it's putting some some current or voltage, a slight increase back into the motor. I mean, back from the motor to the speed controller for the speed controller to realize it's running. And then, I don't know if that's what, that's what this thing here is doing. I don't quite know what that is. Um, so yeah, that's all the speed controller is really for the Razer E90. It's not really much of a speed controller at all. You've got charging circuit here, uh, throttle switch, on switch, and you've got a brake switch. And then you've got a charging input. So that's charging. Put this down there. So that's charging. One's brake. One's uh, pedal, click on pedal. You've got battery and motor terminals. And then you've got two switch terminals there that just go to the switch, which allow the 12 volts to flow into the speed controller. So this is super basic. I don't know how much extra voltage we're going to be able to put into this. It says 14 volts DC at 40 amps. So we can always uh, put a bigger relay in. In fact, to be honest with you, I don't think we're going to really need all of this. Um, I'm not too worried about charging through the original charger. I'm not really worried about having it cut off. I can just let go of the switch. So, that's how the E90 Razor speed controller works. So, it's just switching 12 volts, basically, straight from the battery to the motor through a relay. And that relay is being switched by these tails here. And then you've got a little bit of charging circuitry and some resistors and some diodes just to make sure you don't get voltage going in different directions. But apart from that, this, as they have it badged, this electrical bicycle controller. 
is not got a lot to it really so it should be quite easy to hack and get this to run a bit more voltage so that's the Razer E90 so let's play about with it and see what we can do to uh, make it work a bit better all right so after a bit of messing around this uh, what was supposed to be a DC brushed motor speed controller which actually turns out to be just a switched relay um, I've now decided I'm going to get rid of all the other gubbins off of this and just wire the, the switch um, up here, the go switch straight to the relay coils which is here and here so it's the two for the relay so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just take an earth from over here jump the earth across to one terminal and then to put what would have been the switch for the button on the other side so all that's going to do is put 12 volts straight to the relay which will energize the relay which will then click the speed controller on so if I do end up putting some more voltage through this it won't do any of the other electronics any harm not that I really think any of the electronics in there are really doing too much other than seeing the, the, the voltage increase from the rear the rear uh, the motor to switch the relay anyway and then you've got some switching in there for charging and some step downs for the light in the <coughs> in here and the charger socket in so let's get my soldering iron out and you can uh, see what we're gonna do right well here's our amazing setup humongous 12 volt mobility scooter battery that little 12 volt battery is dead those two little batteries there aren't holding any charge those are the two that came with the other scooter and those are the one that's the 12 volt that came in this scooter but back to the speed controller so here we have some handy dandy soldering all I've done is up here is the relay this is the relay so this half of the relay here is live and this half of the relay here is uh, negative so you've got positive side negative side and then here you've got the relay coil for switching the relay all I've done is took an earth from the battery which comes around here jumps around goes up to the coil this yellow wire here comes off goes down to the switch comes back from the switch and takes 12 volts from this side of the coil so what so it's doing is putting 12 volts down to the switch hit the switch energizes this coil here with this coil energized it's then putting power across these two terminals here feeding the motor so a very basic speed controller not really any speed controller at all but now the button and off you go So, let's put this all back together. This battery is a bit big to put in there. Um, I might try running it off uh, a 20 volt, 22 volt lithium battery I've got and uh, see how that goes. So, let's put this all back together. And that's probably it for this video. So, check out my other videos for more on the electric scooters. I'm going to play about with this and do another video on the next part. And then we are going to get to the other electric scooter and see if we can really bring that one back to life the reason uh, just in case you're wondering why I hardwired this just so it works on the switch because this is supposed to work once it gets up to about three miles an hour this scooter wasn't doing that I don't know if that's because the batteries in it that were knackered or what but I'd much rather have it just on a on a go switch so there you go thanks for watching this video I'll see you on the next one